Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Today, we're going to be taking a huge amount of logs from Kerr de la Elena, I think it is, and we're going to be heading up into the north of Washington. Now, talking of big logs, I need to get Dynarod out because my council gritter at the minute is rather unpleasant. But I digress, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get on to some mother trucking goodness. Incidentally, this is the Idaho DLC. And if this is the first time you've joined me here on the channel in our VR mother trucking goodness, you'll find quite a few VR videos all in the beautiful virtual reality here on the channel. So as we move around here, you can see this is the trailer that we're going to be taking. And I think I've made a balls up of this already. I should have come in the other way. Let's just get our pos position right here and reverse back. Now, these cabs, I'll be honest with you, feel much, much smaller than the English and the European trucks. But we do have the advantage of being able to look out of this back window here as we reverse round and pick up our load. And uh, speaking of loads, I was going to make a joke then about Kate Beckinsale and shedding my load. But <laughs> I'll leave it. I'm sure you're all bored of those bloody Yorkshire jokes by now. So I will leave that. But let's just reverse here. Get these logs and let's head out. Now, if you weren't aware, the new Idaho TLC from American Truck Simulator here integrates a lot more of the farming, forestry, and the kind of pickups that people really enjoy. And it's these ones, such as the lumber yards, industrial, and getting down on the farm. These are the ones that I really do enjoy. So as I get out, I'll just put the trailer on, have a word with the foreman, and there we go. All sorted. Oh, it's a beautiful hot day today, but uh, let's talk in. Let's get our seatbelt on and let's head out into Idaho and further up into Washington. Let's do some mother trucking, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do some mother trucking. Oh, I can see Dave the foreman here. Get me window down. It's time you did some work, you lazy bastard. Ah, uh, screw you. I'm your missus. <laughs> Come behind. Ah, I'll see you on the way back, mate. Uh, you want me a pint, remember? Whatever. Quite a gradient as we come down this dirt track here from the forest up at the top. A lot of forestry going on in this area. As you can see, it's beautiful out there as I'm getting shaken to bits in the cab here. Oh dear. Looks like he shed his load. Leave it. Don't insert joke here. If there's anything I can do to help. Nah, probably not. They're going to need a pickup crane for that lot. Never mind. Let's get ourselves to the bottom of the valley here. This dirt road is going to lead us down to the bottom here as we take a right under. Then we'll be getting out onto the highway on the road. And we're going to be heading up north through Idaho and then work our way across the border over towards Washington. Not the longest of drives today, but we are pulling quite a load here behind here with these huge trees that we've cut down. These conifers around 30 tons and this truck is not the most powerful as you can see the truck is quite basic this is new this peter built just got a loan for 100 grand and i tell you what lads i didn't get much change but i managed to barter a full tank of fuel tight-fisted bastards Again. 
quite a bit of traffic here on this highway. It's one of the main bypasses through. Just got to watch out for these cars on the left that they don't nip out like that. I think we're going to have to force our way out a little bit. Cheers, mate. Pull our way out here. Across the bridge. Onto uh, Highway 95 here. And we're going to be heading over Micka Creek. As we head up through. And eventually on the right hand side we will see we'll start to carve through some of the rocky mountainous areas here as we're heading out of Idaho. As you can see, there's a lot of farms on the right because Idaho is famous for its potatoes and its beef. And uh, I'm not sure whether it's famous for its rednecks either. Maybe you can tell me in the comments box below. Incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, as is tradition when we have our virtual reality videos here on the trucking, we have a secret code word. And that lets me know that you guys have made it to the end. Maybe you've enjoyed this video. And you want to help me grow a little bit, uh, there will be a magic keyword in the way somewhere in this video. Just looking around the truck, I haven't even got stereo in here, so I'm going to have to put my MP3 headphones in, get some tunes on, and let's head a little bit down here through this rocky area, and we will be heading down into one of the smaller towns here on the outskirts. Beautiful scorchy old day here in the cab today. I think we will get the window down and get a little bit of fresh air as we go a little bit further in. Incidentally, it would be interesting to know what your favourite DLC is and whether you prefer to be driving in Europe or whether you like driving out here in America. My initial thoughts when I first started trucking here in the US of A was that a lot of the roads were just long straight slogs, but as more and more areas have opened up, the driving and the scenic areas just seem to have got a lot more interesting. As you can see, we're passing the lake over on the right. What a beautiful day to be out on the lake today, but then again, we are mother trucking. And every day here on the channel is an excuse to get our ass on seats, get it into gear, get it into 18th gear, and just head on down that freeway with the air in, in our hair. I was going to say, and a pretty lady in the back, but unfortunately in this small cab, there isn't any room to swing a dead cat around in here. Maybe I can give myself a tie bride, aren't we? Over there, only tiny, aren't they? You know what I'm saying, lads. Buy one, get one free. As we head across the bridge here towards Sandpoint, we will be taking a left hooker. It is nice to get out here, out off the freeway before we go into this long slog through the mountains and some of the farmland, hopefully, as we get to drop these huge logs off to be made into sawdust. Of course, I've got to remember and get used to this new cab here that the braking distances, we have got the retarder on as we get to the bottom of this slight incline here. But I am going to be braking nice and early. We've got to break these new disc pads in. Looks like he stopped and he's gone out into the road there. A little bit bad driving there, mate. I think we'll be all right to pull out here. I've just got to make sure I don't clip this pavement, which is, looks like I'm going to do. Hopefully that vibration doesn't show up on the tachometer. I think we'll be all right. So let's keep on trucking, ladies and gentlemen, as we head further up. There's something intrinsically beautiful and relaxing about this game. Let's get a bit of fresh area. Incidentally, as many of you know, many of my scrubbers know I've been who was in a car crash recently. A uh, large truck with a JCB on the back, a grave digger of all things. Wrote my Sirocco off when I was at the traffic lights in Horsforth. Ended up hurting my back and my neck. And I'm um, currently looking at getting a new car, and I've been borrowing my friend Sportage, a all-wheel drive version, the two-litre with all the bells and whistles, sat nav on it, the lot. Quite smitten by it, but uh, the whole job situation at the minute, things are not looking too good. I'm such a huge 
outlay an expense like that is probably a risk. Whoa, look at that ambulance driver. I'm ill, baby. Get me in the back and pump me away. <laughs> Anybody want some donuts? As we head down here with the sun blinding me, I forgot my bloody sunglasses, we will be taking the turn off towards Colville. Colville. We'll be heading down into this small, well I say small, it's quite a large town actually, very industrial, a lot of warehouses, a lot of freight moving around here on the road. And we're going to be moving up and taking the next right further down here, about a mile in. And from there we're going to be heading through, through the town. And we may stop off for some donuts and a cup of tea. It's got me bloody hungry now, that thing. Ninety-nine cents for an hamburger. You can imagine what absolute shite is in that. All this reprocessed bleached meat. No, thank you very much. No, thank you. Maybe a trucker, but I'm not a fat bastard trucker. Still got my waistline. Can still see me knob when I go for a piss. In case any of you are wondering out there, I am playing with a steering wheel. I have got pedals as well, although the clutch doesn't seem to be working in the truck at the minute. And with this having 18 gears, yes, I'm having to go up all 18 by hand by changing the gear stick. Now I'm sure we can configure the truck to go up 3x3x3, three by three by three, just like it in the arc. Or was that 2x2x2? Two by two by two? I think it was 2x2. Two two. Well, well, let's make it 3. 3x3x3. Three by three by three it would make changing gear a lot easier which is why when we get to the traffic lights sometimes you'll see me creeping so I don't need to go all the way down through the gears so let's keep heading up here we've got some more freight here another truck on the left that looks like he's carrying a huge amount of printing supplies so we get up this small little hill here this truck is not the most powerful but we've certainly got enough grunt for a incline at this degree and you can see on the left the sun is about to set here as we cross over the river. Beautiful, beautiful. So we got the Volvo dealer over our right hand side. Can't say I've ever driven in one of the Volvo trucks, which actually. Engine just stopped there. And this Peterbilt. But maybe later on we may look at upgrading a Volvo. Who knows? Keep on trucking and maybe if we can get enough money, we'll pop in and have a word. I've been here five minutes. Come on, pal, just pull out. Come on. No one's going to mess with you. I've been 30 ton of truck. That's it, my son, just pull out. Let's just pull in behind this Jeep here, this pickup truck. For a pain, heck, man. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit aggressive on the road and just pull out, yeah? I don't know. I know it takes us a long time to get up to speed, but as soon as you pull that cab out, it's not a cat and else chance anybody's not going to give way for you. Ah, get that window down. Ah, oh, it's nice when you get out into the uh, countryside area. It just smells different. You know, also, you can't be here when we get down into the forestry areas when we're picking up the logs and the sawdust and things. The forest has just got a, just an amazing smell about it. 
and it's making me want to get back on a mountain bike or an e-mountain bike actually although in the current climate the bikes I'm looking at or was looking at you're looking at a three to four month waiting list just to get a mountain bike absolutely crackers As we come down the gears now, slowly, slowly, as we're heading in towards town now, I think it might be a good idea as the sun is setting. Another burger that can be starving as we hit the town here of Corville. We're going to have the secret word here before we actually get towards the end of the video. So all you have to do is if you want to salute to me to comment and thank you back in the comments box below, I have a word. All you need to do is type that word and leave me a, leave me a message of any type. Tell me you don't like the video. Tell me how I can improve it. You can tell me however you like. You can downvote me, you can upvote me, you can do whatever you like, son. You do whatever floats your boat. So, today's magical keyword will be... Let's think of something. It will be... The, the wording will be... Shed my lord. <laughs> if you're not from England, it's probably got a different meaning. But uh, yes, just type Shed My Lord in the comments box and I shall leave you an 07, which if you weren't aware is a salute. And I'll leave you a comment to say thank you that you are a boss. And hopefully you'll leave me something nice. As we're heading into town here now, we're going to go through the gears here in Sunset. Frame rate is a little bit low, I've got to say, for the American Truck Simulator at the minute. I don't know whether it needs some more optimization or whether I need to drop the settings even further hope it isn't too much of a discomfort and a displeasure for you guys to be watching this on a video. If it does make you sick, then maybe we can do something about dropping the frame rate. But as we get around this corner, we haven't got far to go, we should be dropping these logs off that are going to be made into pallets or sawdust as we head into the yard here in Idaho. If you'd like me to play some more, then leave me a comment. Let's just slowly creep in here to the wood yard. And apparently the foreman has already marked it out with cones, and there we go. And there we go, I'm just going to slide in my massive thick girth of a tree trunk straight into this slot here, and then I shall shed my load, and... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it here in Haido. We've made it to the wood yard. Thank you very much if you made it this far. I salute you anyway, but if you want to leave a comment, you know what to do. Otherwise, I shall see you in some more mother trucking, no doubt, here on the channel. And I'll see if I can try and improve the frame rate. See you in another video coming real soon, I'm sure. Bye-bye.